Hello guys, Hippo here, and this is another video in my fully optimised series, and today we're going to be looking at a skill damage build, mostly it's uh, rigger here, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the table, and uh, we'll see how this build works, so let's kick it off. So to start off with, I'm using the Technician, there's a few reasons why, first off is mainly because of the amplified skill tier that you get one extra skill tier, uh, it's also very good to the bonus army gain when you're aiming a skill, which is good. The synergizing weapon damage, which is excellent. The extra damage that you get to drones and other skill or robotic proxies. The armor kit repairs your skills as well, which is great. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's go down to the range. We'll benchmark, take a look at the build, then go into the range, try it out, and then we'll look at the stat sheet. So we can see the range is on heroic which is great, that's exactly what we want, so we can benchmark our numbers properly. So, let's take a look at the build. So, I'm using a Rigger four-piece, and for this build, uh, the first piece that I've got is the Harmony. So, on this weapon I have 15% assault rifle damage, uh, sorry, excuse me, 15% rifle damage, 17% uh, crit hit damage, and 24% optimal range. Now, it's worth noting that, obviously, damage to targets out of cover is quite nice, or damage to armor is quite nice because it also affects your skills but I can do that by holding on to a different weapon which I'll talk through next however having optimal range actually will also increase your skills optimal range so damage fall off will be less as well as using this weapon at range as you can see I have the optimal range scope and muzzle on it so I can have much better range and less damage drop off so I can stay away from enemies okay so the talent is perfectly in sync uh, hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds and then using non-skill uh, shield skills or damaging an enemy with a, a skill grants 20% weapon damage so when they're both active that's going to be 40% extra skill damage and 40% extra weapon damage when using this rifle when both bonuses are up but are only up for 5 seconds so you have to keep refreshing them okay so I'm using the capacitor on this build and the capacitor uh, comes with 15% assault rifle damage 12% damage to armor and 9.5% damage to health also worth noting that holding the capacitor will make the skills do damage to armor Which is very very nice. That's actually excellent uh, We have the uh, talent on the capacitor so shooting enemies build stacks uh, of a cap of 40 which give 1.5% skill damage and decay after five seconds one per stack Okay, so as well as that, we also gain 7.5% weapon damage for each uh, skill tier we have. We have six, uh, which is great, so we're going to be getting the max out of that. Okay, for the first piece, because we are using the um, specialist, uh, you know, specialization, we gain an extra skill tier. So the technician gives us that extra skill tier. So this allows us to take a blue, because we're going to be at six anyway, which gives us a little bit more armor, which is great. That helps us to survive a little bit better. So... The first piece of this is rolled into armor, has skill damage and a skill haste mod. <clears throat> the chest piece is our second piece and it gives us 15% skill haste. We're rolled into skill damage and we have a skill haste mod. And we have the talent best buds on the chest piece, increases the damage buff from 25 to 50%, which is really, really great. Okay, so we'll go through that once we activate the fourth piece. For the holster, we're using the waveform. Uh, and what the waveform does is it has skill damage and skill haste on it, but it also has alternating current. So generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10 stacks. After those 10 seconds, at the caps, stacks transfer to the other skill. So what this does is basically it makes one skill go up to 30% extra damage, then stops, and then makes the other skill up to go up to 30% damage. So it changes between the skills ad infinitum. So it just keeps going on and on and on. For the backpack, I'm using the force multiplier. So one piece will give me skill haste. This is, has skill uh, damage, skill haste, and a skill haste mod on it with the talent perfect combine arms. Shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30% for three seconds. So when I shoot a target, it's going to give the skills 30% extra skill damage. The two-piece um, of uh, rigor, three-piece should I say, is 15% skill duration, which is great. That's going to make my skills stay out for uh, an extra 15%. Uh, 
uh, and that's rolled into skill damage. For the fourth piece, this activates the fourth piece and is called uh, Tend and Befriend. So interacting with your skills deployed grants the skill 25% extra damage for 10 seconds. This buff can't be refreshed. So interactions include using or deploying the skill, changing the skill's target, or healing the skill. Any of those will make the skill damage go up to 25. And because we have the chest piece, we're now going to get 50% extra damage, which is really good. And we also have this rolled into skill damage. Um, for our skills, we have the drone, which is the striker drone at tier, skill tier 6, and the assault turret, which is at skill tier 6. Just to mention it very quickly as well, we also have the 586 Magnum that has future perfect on it. It has 15% pistol damage and 9.5% health damage, and what this will do is effectively when we kill an enemy that's weak, we can go into overcharge and gives us a way of going into overcharge, seeing as we don't have that available to us through any other means here. Okay, let's go into the range and try it out. So, when we're using skills, obviously we have the method of using in sync. And then what we can also do is we can use this. But you'll see at the bottom of the screen there, there's two little icons. And what those icons will do the two little balls that look like they're rolling that's me interacting with the skill and then you'll see there's another icon that looks like a almost like a diamond and you can see that that's the the holster charging up one skill or the other So I throw it here for like 220,000. As we charge it up. Very nice. So I think the highest number that I saw there was about 250,000 on the skill, which is great. So let's uh, see how quickly we can burn a boss. Yep, that didn't take very long at all. So obviously the main things to note is that we're a little stronger than normal, but we have multiple ways of building damage. If we're far away from the target, we can use our harmony, and we can also use the assault rifle as well. We have EMP grenades to shut down enemy skills, should they be getting close or what have you. And we can also use the pistol just to go into overcharge. Alright, let's go and have a look at the stat sheet, and then this will make a lot more sense. So looking at the stats, the breakdown of the weapon talents are as follows. Obviously we have the rocket launcher, so that's the tactician, so... Weapon damages are reasonably low, but we can charge them up if we're hitting targets, however, the capacitor has much better damage because of its talents. Not forgetting the pistol that we can use to proc the overcharge. Again, weapon damage will be quite low because we're skill, but we have ways of making it go up more in situational ways. Gear talents are as follows.
and our gear sets are as follows. In defence, we have higher than normal armour at 913,000. We have a skill tier 6 drone. And a skill tier 6 turret. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.